Hey, 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 greetings and salutations to you, people of the interwebs. So today we're having another one of my Kickstarter unboxings. So something that I've pledged for has arrived. I think this is one of the few things I've got left from my uh, mad pledging spree I went on uh, the other year. Uh, this is from the Long Coconut. This is Plunderlings. Now... I've always had a love of goblins and green skins and all this type of stuff. Uh, when I was a kid, I always I used to have a, a Space Orc army in War of 40,000 when I played such things. And just, you know, uh, in various role-playing things, I've enjoyed playing the more goblinoid type folk. Love films like The Labyrinth and stuff like that and Legends. So I've always had, like, a, a love for, like, goblins and stuff like that. And these are, like, some... Um, very cartoony, cool looking goblins that we're just going to get into, aren't we? Let's just open it up and, and see what's going on. Um, so yeah, the, the, their own property, which we always love uh, to see, is innovation, new things, and just adorable action figures. And that, that's what we're hopefully going to be getting into today. to pay a, a hefty customs fee on this one. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. So we have uh, the invoice. Ooh. We have stickers. <laughs> that's cool. So that's like a hint of what's to come. We love a bit of a uh, bit of stickerage, don't we? And then we have, so there's four figures here uh, to get into. Look at this. Look, oh my god, the presentation on these. Wow, absolutely. So this is uh, Captain Teal. So they're not just goblins. They're pirate goblins. Captain Teal. The darker one, Captain Ash. Wow, this shiny golden god is the cursed idol. And last, no means least, Let's just have a look, make sure there's no like other paraphernalia. In the box there, nope. It's this guy, he's the feral zombone. So a, like a zombie <laughs> goblin, just a pasty white. Oh, that's brilliant. So we're gonna get into these. Um, let's have a look. So there's a sellotape down here. Um, so open these up, let's just see how um, collector friendly the packages that's the bit of the term isn't it so have this here it seems like there's some slots here so I don't know if we've got some ears that can stick out of these boxes um, we shall see so a plastic tray with some two extra heads in there And some extra hands. A tray with the uh, goblin in and his accessories and hat. And yeah, yeah, it's a couple of there's a a baggie with like a C clip in there. I presume that's for weapon storage somehow. And yep, two goblin ears, cardboard. Let's see what if there's anything else. Let's just remove the the 
plastic sleeve here. And right, just the plunderlings. These toys were constructed and hand painted with great care. Please carefully loosen the joints after unboxing. You may need to apply heat with a hairdryer. Yeah, that's one of the things I don't own. Uh, we hope playing with these brings you the same joy and happiness we felt while making them. We are extremely grateful to the fans that brought this project to life. For more information, visit www.plunderlings.com. I'll leave that website in the description below. Um, I believe outside of the Kickstarter, at this moment in time, one of the few places you can actually get these is big bad toy store so props them so you can then seal this back up and presume just to uh, completely oh no oh. I'm gonna have to do these well over here so don't worry we're not going to do this for every box um, on video anyway <laughs> we might do this for every box uh, yeah I'm going to put the other one right here oh oh no <laughs> Two of the same here, so it looks like he's got <laughs> back to front ears, but you know, never mind. <laughs> oh, Christ, I'm here to watch a video of me struggling to actually operate cardboard. <laughs> that's great, isn't it? Well, that's oh, I imagine seeing that on the shelf. You'd, you'd buy these, wouldn't you? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh. So yeah, let's get this guy. Let's see. Oh, we've got some twisty ties. Got to be careful with him. He's hand painted. You can just see. So I don't know how much you can work and make this out, but you can just see the amount of paint that has gone into this. I don't think that is the actual, it could be the plastic colour, but um, the texture on it, the, the um, hand feel feels like it could be, you know, all be painted. Um, but just in, the, just in the very ears itself, that gradient on the art forearms and stuff like that this is really really cool <laughs> little little tiny goblin bottom <laughs> oh <laughs> so yeah yeah this is a uh... wow again there's bits here that like as advertised or as, as, as it says in the um, on the box just to be a little bit careful with to uh, just just warm that articulation up um, straight away
Yeah. So it comes with a hat and it's got like a magnet on it and it sure it should just stick on like so. Wow. Wow, and it comes with some um additional hands for uh, holding stuff. So it's got like a, a rifle with a, a slingshot on the end of it, <laughs> as all goblin pirates should. And there's a one, so his hands come off quite easily, and he's, he's, so his hat falls off as well. It's on the floor, we'll retrieve it later. Um, So we've got that going on. Um, so there's two additional heads in here. I guess um, one's bearing his teeth and one's It's like two variations of a smile that you can't quite trust. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, so yeah, let's just um, get diving in, see what we, we get with the others. Um, again, same tray. Captain Ash. Same thing going on. This guy has the right ears. <laughs> and that clip as well. So yeah, we'll investigate that clip in a second. We'll get this guy out of his binds. So he's got the same telescope as a uh, teal. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't collapse. Just in case you're wondering, uh, but he has a big f off sword rather than a gun, and it's big top hat as well. So. Again, that magnetizes on there. Uh, you can see this kind of, they've got the same legs, but he's got a different belt buckle and um, yeah, he's got more piercings in his ears and his, it's the same shirt, but um, just different coloration. So it's just really the belt buckle and the piercings in the ear that are different there and of course the hat but you know because it's all magnets and stuff any you know they can swap hats with each other whichever you way you want to choose um let's get this shiny boy out shall we oh, there's a little bit um kind of because there's a translucent one that's a kickstarter exclusive and i've I've kind of realized, I've like realized, like, why didn't I order that one? I have no idea because I do like translucent figures, but for some reason, I did not order the translucent plundering. So again, packaging, oh, very shiny. Oh, 
Again, twisty ties here. I think we can actually, if you go from the back there, we can just do it in one fell sweep. There you go. There you go. You learn something every day. So this guy he doesn't he just has his robes doesn't have any um actual <laughs> clothes on as it were so yeah he's the most naked so far of our plunderlings um yeah so he's got the more earrings is it it's like the same yeah so it's the same head sculpt as ash but obviously Oh, completely different than could. Um, and it's the same two oh, additional. There goes a fist on the floor. Face sculpts that big smile and that big I'm going to eat your smile. Uh, I presume that the heads just pop off really easily and we'll put this head on and this guy comes with well, a magnetic crown obviously for a king I'm going to see if you could put it on a John's angle but it wants to it wants to be there and he also has kind of got like a axe that's shaped like a gecko Aztec style kind of on the and a chalice or a grail so he's cool he's cool uh, we like all this stuff and then last no means least a zombone Take that out, heads and hands, accessories, he's got his ears and stuff in there. Um, oh yeah, he feels cool. Ooh wee, yeah, that's so white. That is like painfully white. Let's give him this guy, let's change this guy's head straight away, shall we? This is the non earring face. And we'll change the hand out. Stick his bone in there. This powerfully undead one, so he has a uh, a skull mask. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow, yeah, 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 we like that. So that is Zombone. Honestly, it's, it's like chalk. It is like chalk white. It's not like uh, chalk feeling. That'd be that'd be awful. 
for figure, but the, uh, the whiteness on the, but again, he's got that gradient in the ear. It just makes, oh, so much a difference. But yeah, and there's just the, the um, jet black as well on his fingernails and his, his shorts kind of really, wow, just makes it just so monochrome and just kind of just draws your eyes to it. Brilliant. Brilliant. So yeah, <laughs> absolutely loving these guys. Um, chaos is going on in my in front of me at the moment. So there's a ball joint with a a peg on the neck to allow it to go up down quite far and like up quite far. That's <laughs> quite yeah, like that. Um, there's a hinge swivel at the arms, can go all the way around, there's a single hinge at the elbow there and a hinge, quite a deep one at the hand, I think there's some kind of like a barbell joint at the diaphragm. I don't think it has any actual waist rotation, but you know, that barbell there gives you all you need because it gives you, you know, a back, a crunch and a spin. So you don't really need a waist ro rotation there. There's it's like a ball joint or a universal at the, uh, the thighs. So you can get out to about that far in all the way. Uh, it can go up that far. And his little goblin butt <laughs> kind of st stops him short from going any further back than there. There is a thigh swivel all the way around. It's perfectly cylindrical, so you can't really, it doesn't break up the sculpt at all. He's got a double jointed knee. Weak. <laughs> Let me see. And there's a ankle rocker it gives a, a couple of clicks up there maybe a bit more once it's warmed up but yeah I mean just from just testing the articulation out just how he's been left you can just see how dynamic these are wow Wow, so the, uh, I think the weapon holding hands just have a different, have an up and down rather than in and out. Yeah. Other than that, exactly the same all across the board. I'm really pleased with these. These are, oh, they're so much fun. They are so much fun. And, you know. We all like magnets, don't we? <laughs> it's just the interchangeable nature. Once you've got like a, you know, a few of these, you can have just some fun of, of how you actually, you know, kit them out. I presume. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just whichever way you want. You can have fun all your way and so then you also end up with um you know spur stuff as well uh, to play around with uh size comparisons here we go boy i'm just covered in here they are next to a transformers deluxe class uh, siege side swipe um you want to compare to a Marvel Legend. There you go. And if you're more into a classic G.I. Joe, is Zanzibar. Yep. So, much bigger than that. Um, I'm not sure what the actual price of these are. 
I think it's about $30 per figure. So you're getting a few accessories, free head sculpts, um, tons of articulation. It's its own property, um, you know, independent uh, toy makers. So for that, I think, you know, for that, for a premium figure, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I mean, they are small. Well, that's the charm of them. Yeah, they can hang out with your bigger figures. I mean, especially with that, like, oh. especially with the, the, the range of, of motion in the head that they can just look up at Pete. Oh. I'm a little bit in love. Yeah, <laughs> these, these are great. These are great. I'm glad I've uh, took part in the Kickstarter. I'm not sure if uh, Wave 2, if it'll be another Kickstarter or they'll just be releasing them. Directly, I don't know, but um, if they are kickstarting, definitely I, I would get involved again. So, you know, they've, they've been kept as well informed of the processes. Lots of different, you know, concepts, art and sketches and production sample pictures and stuff like that. It's been a very involved process. So, yeah, they've done a really good job. And I can't wait to just, just play around with these some more and, and do whatever with them. So, yeah, thanks for joining me. As always, remember to be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, let's uh, bump fish, shall we? Bisto! Fisto!